Hi all. In this video, I will explain an informatical scenario. Splitting non-key columns to separate tables with key columns in both means here in this scenario, in our source, we have a single table with a single key column and multiple non-key columns. In my example, I am taking a table which contains three columns: ID, name, and phone number. In this table, ID is in a key column. And name and phone number are non-key columns. Using informatica mapping and splitting this name and phone number non-key columns into separate two tables with key columns means in target table I will take two columns with one is key column and another one is non-key column. So in target we should have two tables one is with id and name and another one is with id and phone number here it is source here this is one target table and it is it is next target table in one first target table we have id and name and in next target table we have id and phone number here now we will see the procedure how to split these non-key columns into two different tables including key column here this image shows source call for transformation in source call for transformation we have three fields which are coming from source and here I am drawing these three fields into expression transformation here we can split non-key columns into target table in many ways here I will do using expression transformation we can also use aggregator and expression transformation to split the rows if you have now multiple records based on a single id column in that case we should we should use aggregator transformation to group by based on id column however in our example I am not taking any duplicate records so I am not using aggregator transformation so directly from source call here I will take one id column and non key column into first expression transformation and another key column sorry another non key column and id column into another expression transformation and directly map these two expression transformations to two target transformations to in, in my example I am not using aggregator transformation we can use aggregator transformation if you have any duplicate record based on id column using of aggregate is based on our requirement and source data if we have in our source data we have uh, we have fields like salary and id for different months in that case we have to use aggregate transformation however in my example i am not using any duplicate record just i am splitting non-key columns into two target tables based on the key column now I will show an example where we how to use aggregate transformation to split the non-key columns here we have a field like id month salary for id1 month january id2 month january again id1 month february id3 month january here the salary is 1000 2000 3000 and again 1000 In this scenario if you want to split the records like id and month in one target table we have these two fields and under target table we have id and sal so in this table in these two target tables the records will be split like id1 id2 id3 and for id1 the month is jan for id2 jan 
ID three Jan. Again for ID one fifth. So in this way, target one table will be same. And again for salary, salary ID one, ID two, ID three. And here I will sum up the salary for ID one. Based on ID key column, I am summing up this salary. So for ID one we have two. Two salaries. One is three thousand, another one is one thousand. So salary is four thousand. And for ID two, it is three two thousand. For ID three, it is thousand. So to split this, this to split like this, we have to group by based on ID key column and sum up the salary salary field. So in this case, we have to use aggregate transformation. So in my example, I am not using any duplicate records and field like salary. Hence, I am not using aggregate transformation. Now we will create a mapping for this. In my example, in source database, I have taken split non key name table, split non key table. Here, this table contains three records. One is ID one, two, three, with the name, phone number fields. In target database, I am taking two tables with the key name and phone number. In first table, we have ID with the name. In second table, we have ID with phone number. I am creating an instrument of mapping. Now I am creating a source and ledger from sources, importing from database tables, split non key. Okay, I have created source and ledger transformation. Now I am creating target transformations for two tables. Split non key name, split non key phone number. I have taken two target transformations. In mapping designer, I am creating a mapping with a name. Name is M one score split non key. I am dragging split non key source from source tab. Now I am creating an expression transformation. Expression one for name and expression two for phone number. In expression one name. I am taking two fields. One is ID, and another one is name. And in the same way, for expression two transformation, I am taking ID column and phone number column. In both expressions, ID is the common field. Now I will drag two target transformations. One is with phone number and another one is with ID name. I am selecting expression one name two ports into target one and ID phone number from expression two. These two ports I am mapping with the target two ID and phone number. Now I am saving the mapping. Now I will create a session for this mapping. In Informatica Workflow Manager, in Task Developer, I am going to task create a session. S underscore M underscore. 
it on key i'm associating this map session with the m underscore split non key mapping then and in workflow designer i'm creating a workflow w underscore split non key from session tab i am dragging split non key session into this workflow designer mapping these to with a line task i am now going to session properties in mapping under connections i am changing database connections for target i am selecting target database for source i am selecting source this is also target to we have two target transformations and single source this is for source and this is for target and saving the mapping how save this first flow right clicking on the session start task session succeeded successfully i am going to session log at the end from source we are getting three records in target split non key name and split non key phone number in these two target transformations are loaded with three three records now i will verify in database previously in these two tables we do not have any records id name id phone number after successfully running the session i am executing these two sqls here we can see that id 1 2 3 with name and id 1 2 3 with phone number fields in this way we can split non key columns into target tables using key columns if our requirement is to aggregate any non key data we how to in that case we should use aggregate transformation to aggregate the non key columns data Based on ID key column, 